in my life, but I've never seen such a spiritual low as we're going through right now. Uh, we are in trouble in this country when so many view God in a different way. Uh, Seems like we have our own God. We serve our God the way we want to serve Him. I also know, you might not agree with me, but technology has uh, affected the, the, the human mind. Uh, how much I do not know, but uh, I was looking at a program talking about brain drain. In other words, your brains have been drained. And uh, uh, what caught my eye was the uh, they're not giving God for any credit for anything. They, they, they got the psychiatrists now uh, telling people how to live and uh, uh, what to do. And, uh, uh, but my Bible tells me the psychiatrists need some guidance himself also. God is the one that can guide us when we're in trouble. Uh, Sowing in tears. I, I believe uh, one must be filled with the Holy Ghost to produce tears. Uh, it's that man on the inside that uh, make one uh, uh, feel godless sorrow for his sins and for another. Uh, Repentance will bring tears. There are tears of joy and there are tears of sadness. Uh, Psalm 165 said, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get through crying, uh, I feel like shouting. Yeah, yeah, from, from the moment that we are born until the time we die, many tears are sowed. Uh, the tears are a balm given by God to reduce pain and to get God's attention. Uh, somehow we think that a man should not cry. Uh, if they say it shows weakness, uh, that is a lie of the devil. And, uh, the truth is not in. Uh, my cry is helpless, God. It is my cry daily. I have a footnote here before I go further. You know, we're living in a nation now that lives like a vampire on, 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 on scandals. Uh, uh, when something's wrong in this world, we just go haywire talking about it. Uh, but everybody forgot how to pray. Yeah. Yeah. We can talk and talk, but the only thing that changed what's in the world is praying itself. Yeah. I don't know about you, I thank God for a, for a mind that can preach the word of God. Uh, yeah. I'm grateful, I know what you're saying, but I'm grateful and, and I'm grateful that God is still speaking to men and women today. Uh, yeah. uh, he, he did not stop years ago. He's still talking yeah. if you have time to listen. But the day when much is said about the ways to find happiness, and it may seem strange to suggest that uh, uh, tears have a place in the work of the kingdom of God. Right. I don't know about you, but you need to cry sometimes. Right. Uh, in, in, this, in this pastoral scripture we took at the reading, it, it reminded that it is not sufficient to merely go forth and plant seed but that there must be a warning to survive and grow. Right. Even so plain the word of God must be accompanied with tears and weeping tears become that monster that causes the seed to burst forth into life. Right. Uh, I, I, we talk about sowing in tears. Right. Tears he can grow for my brothers yeah. and sisters. Yeah. Men of God have always been men of tears. Yeah. Uh, I, you remember Samuel? Samuel wept uh, all night long over the sin of Saul. Uh, this man, Samuel, he loved Saul. And Saul was a man that had failed God. And I read in 1 Samuel 15, 11, it, it, it repented me. Uh, when Samuel said, I'm sorry that I made such a up Saul to be a king. For he is turned back from following me and had not perform my commandment and, and, and it, it, it grieved Samuel right. and he cried unto the Lord all night long yes. uh, this showed his, his love and concern for a man called Saul yes. you remember King David yeah, he wanted his, his couch with tears constantly because of his remorse over his sin yes. Psalm 6, 6 and 8, I am weary with my groaning yes. all the night making out my bed to swim 
I watered my cow with my tears. Right. Oh, this man was he, he was he was truly sorry over the sin that he had committed. Yeah. He had an affair with another man's wife, then had the man killed. Yeah, but God heard his cry yeah. and forgive him because later he called Jesus the son of David. Yeah. Yeah. That same God that did it for him would do it for you and I. Yeah. Just repent. And so some tears sometimes. Yeah. Don't be too proud to cry when you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cry to God. Yeah. And God will work out of that trouble. Yeah. I don't know about you, but somebody might be in trouble right here now. I dare to cry sometimes. Yeah, yeah. 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 sometimes we're so proud, we don't like to cry. Yeah. But when trouble comes your way, cry and joy would follow those tears. Oh, are you following me? Not only that, you remember Jeremiah? Jeremiah prayed for tears because he felt that he was lacking in the concern of the people of God. In uh, 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 other words, he, uh, uh, God heard his cry though. Yes, he did. And not only that, because Jeremiah himself, I read in, in, in Jeremiah 9, 1, all oh, that my, in my head was water and my eyes were a fountain of tears that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughters of my people. Yeah. Jeremiah was feeling down because he felt like he had not cried enough. Yeah, yeah but you read verse 9, he said, Shall I not visit them for these things? God heard Jeremiah's cry. Yeah. Oh, he hears you and I when we cry. Yeah. Oh, pray along with me now. Yeah, you, you remember the great apostle Paul? I heard you talk about him in Sunday school. He was a man given to tears. Yeah. Paul had much to cry about. Yeah, his tears was for his love, for God, and for the people he called the Gentiles. Uh, we read Paul here, he beat with rod. You remember Paul? Yeah, he was shipwrecked and uh, held in jail. Yeah, his life was, was, was threatened while in jail. But this man, he, he, no human being suffered much as Paul did. But Paul went through spreading the gospel anyway. Because I read in 2 Corinthians 2, 4, For out of much affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote unto you with many tears, not that ye should be grieved, that, that, that ye might, but that ye might know the Lord, which I have more abundant over you, unto you. Right. And behind bars, he still cried many tears, yeah. tears of love. Yeah. After, after all that Paul had gone through, he cried a night, but God heard his cry. Yeah. Because I read in Acts 20 19, serving the Lord with all his humility of mind, and with many tears, and temptation which befell me by the line in the weight of the Jews. In other words, Paul is saying here, I have not held anything back from you. I told you everything that God told me to tell you. But now you're trying to kill me for telling the truth. Oh, I know we have some people that we right today don't want to hear the word of God. Don't want to hear anything about God. But remember Acts 20 and 30 was that therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. Oh, Paul was a crying man. Amen. And of course we would call the fact that Jesus wept. Uh, yes, he did. Well, Jesus cried in Luke 19 for, and when he was come near, he, he beheld the city and wept over it. He cried tears over Jerusalem. He said, if they only knew who I am, oh, I could save them like a chicken saved a little hen. Uh, Sometimes we don't know who the God that we serve is. Jesus also wept in John 11, 35, wept over his friend Lazarus. Lazarus was a close friend of Jesus. Yeah, but he had to cry over that man. Because not so much of a lad, but the people did not believe that he was the living God himself. I uh, hope somebody hear me today. And I, if you read the, the, in, the, in the Luke the 36 and 39 chapter, they talk about the woman that was the suffer woman that was that was that was at the Pharisees there. I'm not gonna read read it sometime though, because I little doubt that this woman in the in the story was guilty of many sin. For we read in Luke 37, 7, 37, And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, stood at the feet, weeping tears, wiping his feet with tears, and wiped it with her hair, and kissed his feet. Oh, this, this woman, tears of love for her master, went 
the last time you cried for your master. Also, there is no doubt that the Pharisees thought himself to be religious and justified. Sometimes church folks feel the same way, always digging up dirt, trying to find fault. Yeah, he's still crying, Terry. Yeah, the next time, the next time you hear something wrong about somebody, don't talk about them. Cry some tears over them. And God will bring it to pass. We, that's why God gives us that scripture. It's my people uh, who will call to my name. I'm here yourself and pray sometime. And cry and God will bring it to pass. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then he, I see what this Pharisee is here. He even criticized Jesus himself. He said if he, if he was a prophet, uh, he would have known this woman was a sinner. Jesus knew who this woman was. Yeah, yeah. He also knew when she touched him, she was not a sinner no more. Oh, yeah, yeah. For this poor sinful woman washed her feet with tears. In Luke 38, she was no more a sinner because she had became a, a new creature. Oh, it took just one touch from the master. Have you ever touched him, Lord Jesus? Oh, uh, touch me, touch me, Lord Jesus, and make me whole. I don't know about you, but sometimes we need to cry sometimes. Sometimes we need to reach out and touch somebody else. Oh, uh, they talk about Jesus here. Yeah, he did all he going to do. You and I, he left us back here. Have been the last time you had cried for somebody? Oh, when somebody fall, you have a pity party. Try to talk about them. Cry over them. Yeah, they need help. Uh, I said they need help. And we have a power to help them. I wish somebody say amen right now. You remember the day of Pentecost? Uh, you remember Pentecost? You were born out of tears. I said Pentecost was born out of tears. And when the day of Pentecost was for the come, yeah, God could have chosen John, the beloved son. This man he trusted his brother to. He could have chosen him to preach the message of Pentecost, but he did not. Yeah, not again. He, he could have chosen Luke, uh, the doctor that walked with Jesus. The physician, he could have chosen him to preach that gospel at Pentecost. Uh, but he did not. He chose Peter, oh loud mouth Peter, who had recently come to a baptism of bitter tears. Yeah, he will read in Matthew 26, 75, and Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, before the cock crowed three times, you're going to deny me. And he wept and wept bitterly. Peter cried and tears of sorrow for denying his master. Yeah, but he burned close to Jesus himself. I wish somebody hear me today. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so we can like to say that Pentecost, not at least the messenger was the was the product of tears. The church must cry today and show some tears for that we have failed God. Uh, we don't like to go out and evangelize no more. We don't like to visit sick no more. We sometimes we don't even like to call them up and let them know we are concerned about them. Don't be too proud to cry. Cry now, and God is going to come to your rescue. Oh, I don't know about you. You need to cry for the conflict over in Israel and in Gaza. Cry. Cry for the myth that this country is in. Oh, I don't know about you, but indeed Israel will not bring forth until the dawn of Zion is travail. Even so, the church will not bring forth until the members rely the need of going forth and sowing some tears. You need to cry sometime. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I, 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 I want God to help me sometime because I don't feel like I'm crying enough for this wicked world. Yeah, stop gossiping and cry for those in that. They're not sowing tears to reap in joy. Joy may come at night. Yeah, your tears may come at night, but joy come in the morning. I hope you hear me today. If you're in trouble, don't worry about it. Just turn it over to the Lord. Yeah, yeah, cry, 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 my brother. Cry, yeah, cry, cry. Learn how to cry this nation out of the muck and the mob. Cry this nation back to God. Cry this nation into unity. Cry for holiness in this nation. Cry for the Jesus joy in this nation. Cry for forgiveness. Cry for peace. Cry for the worst this world is in today. Cry tears of joy. I don't know about 
Thank you, I'm so glad I learned how to cry. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me that great salvation so rich and free. Thank you, Lord. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I don't know about you, but I learned how to cry a long time ago. When things don't go right, I don't mind wife and tears. But when I cry to my Lord, I find out he's always sitting down joy. Jesus is all right by himself. But sometimes you had to cry. Do you know how to cry? Cry, church. Cry. Cry for joy. Cry. This world's in a mess. You better learn how to cry. Cry for your family. Cry for your church member. Cry. Yeah, my God, my Jesus, my brother, my helper, my lover, my keeper, my joy, my holiness. Is it all right, son? Jesus, 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 is it all right? Did he die? Yeah, he died. Somebody cry. Shame to cry. 